Hi guys, hello. I hope you guys are doing okay. So, welcome to my channel. If it's your first time um, at my YouTube channel, welcome, welcome. And um, please subscribe, share, like, comment, you know. So, guys, today I just finished from work and um, I'm heading to the gym because I am getting ready for my holiday and I'm very, very excited. So, I've been planning this for a very long time. Um, I used to do YouTube video, but then I stopped. Um, since COVID, I stopped making videos. And now I'm back. I'm back. I'm going to be start doing my vlogging. And I'm also going to share a bit of details on how I've lost weight. As you can see, maybe if you've watched a bit of my previous video, you can see that I've lost so much weight. So, yeah, I'll be sharing that soon. For now, I'm heading to the gym. I'm super tired. It's been a long day. And, um, and after that, I'm going to go pack my suitcase. I will be heading to get my night bus because I'm going to take a bus down to Belgium. So, yes. So guys, here I was at the bus stop waiting for my bus um, so I can get I can go to the gym and then I was ready for the session. It's been a very long day because I was working the whole day then after that I have to go to the gym because I know that I'll be, I won't be doing my workout as I normally do. I'll be very busy because I'll be traveling. So I wanted to not waste today even though i was traveling that evening because i was catching the night bus i also wanted just to make sure i do my session so when i go to the gym straight away i got change i was really starting my workout as you can see and then today i was doing a full workout body like i didn't do like like a upper body or lower but no i did a full workout intense sweating and stuff after that, I go home quickly, just in time for me to pack all my stuff to make sure that I have everything. Our advice, please make a list of things that you need to put in the suitcase, honestly, because I nearly forgot certain stuff. Then my train was here. I was like going, imagine I was nearly to miss this train. If I did not get here on time, I was very, very tired. I had the, like the, a long day walk gym everything i was doing everything I, please don't do that because you need to rest i was super tired and i was on the phone with my husband we were just talking about the gym that he'll come and pick me up and stuff like that and let him know that i'll get there in the morning and stuff like that so i tend to go for the night bus because it's cheaper it's good and especially if i'm doing solo traveling and yes he is, is better but these days that i also catch the train which i have to spend more money less time traveling when you when you want to save then then you better go on the flex bus i use a flex bus um i was coming from germany to Brussels, so i was going to Brussels um from germany and stuff like that um i go to the the train station i know more than night the everything is kind of like closed here it was around 11 10 at night i was checking for my bus my bus was not here yet when you look at the screen it will tell you where your bus will be stopping then after a few minutes the bus arrived people were getting off there was also people waiting to get inside so i was waiting here for my for the guy to check my ticket so i can get inside and stuff um and then I, I always go, um, like, I don't go at the top of the bus. I always go, like, at the bottom um, because I don't like going up there and stuff. So I, I tend to stay. But there was not a lot of people. I think there was, there was still people inside the bus, but there was not a lot of people waiting for this bus. There was only a few people that we were standing there and waiting to get inside the bus and stuff. So the bus was really on time. That's really good because you want your bus to be on time, especially at night. You don't want to be standing there waiting for your bus for a very long time. So the good thing, I didn't, I was not there for a long time. As soon as I got there, 20 minutes after the bus 
got there on time but you have to wait around like half an hour for the bus to leave and um here was also like just thinking about what i forgot again <laughs> but i was also on the phone with my husband and just having like conversation about this long journey that i'll be having i was not impressed <laughs> But anyway, yeah, it was good. It was fine and stuff like that. And then I was like, okay, quickly, quickly, I need to get to the toilet before I go. So the guy let me out of the bus again. I managed to catch this footage for a few minutes before I go back before I go back in the bus. So the bus was there, like you can see it from far. Um, so I was just waiting to get into the toilet before I can go back. So I didn't want to use the toilet in the bus <laughs> before my journey starts. So yes um this was the next morning um the next morning you can see i was like tired i slept a little bit here and there but not good sleep i missed my bed and but the good thing is i was going to my house i was super super tired and the guy behind me was looking at me like what is she doing <laughs> but anyway yeah I was just having a good time. Um, so I was making sure. So now we were ready in bus, so I could see the places that I recognized. I was getting myself ready, putting my shoes on because we were about to um to get off of the bus. And um this journey is like seven hours, I'm telling you. Seven long hours. Believe me, seven long hour you will not believe that and then after that i went to straight to get my head done um it was like like i didn't even go to sleep i have to go straight and this this hair we started this hair around 10 o'clock and we finished around um 5 five forty or oh, five o'clock five forty i'll say the hair was done can you imagine i spent because the hair was long and then she had to do it by herself and there was no one helping her because everybody was busy everyone was doing something but she was very patient she was very nice um it was really she was very lovely lady honestly i had so much fun there you could not believe and then uh, she, she wouldn't even allow um anybody to disturb her while she was doing my hair and then she was literally telling them like guys i need to finish this lady's hair i am not doing nobody's hair please if you have an appointment with me come tomorrow she canceled different appointments honestly thank you so much falon thank you for your kindness honestly i'll come back again <laughs> and um and this lady came to sell the hair band for me um, and also earrings. I was like, oh no, I only wear gold earrings because it irritates my ear. And then I was supposed to buy the headscarf. And today I was like, oh my gosh, I needed that. But at that time I was not thinking. At that time I was just thinking about my bed, me going home, me resting. That's all I cared. So yes, this is um my journey to Brussels to get my head on and then for my trip. So stay tuned for party two um of my my journey to istanbul bye Splice Splice original. Original.